Hi, and welcome to The Playbook. I'm Eric Manser from Nanakins. You know the old saying goes, you gotta spend money to make money. And that is no truer than in the world of online advertising, where in order to prove the veracity of an audience or the quality of a creative, you've gotta be able to spend some money against those two things in order to understand how good they actually are. That is today's play. It is the cost of testing. When I was a kid, my mom and dad would ask me to try new things, vegetables for example. They say, Eric, try broccoli, and if you don't like it, wait a week and try it again. Well, why try it a second time if I didn't like it the first time? Because they wanted me to have more than one experience of the same thing, a larger sample set if I'd be making a more informed decision. That's the point of testing. You want to have more conversions in order to make a better decision onto the quality of that ad or audience. Now, how do we get the number of conversions? Well, we're going to make that up as we go along. We already know that conversion rate equals conversions num divided by the number of clicks. As a result, therefore, we can say if we have a number of conversions and we know our conversion rate, we can equal the number of clicks we may need in order to test. Well, what's the number of conversions we need? Well, one, two, three, probably too few. 20, 30, probably too many. That's when things get expensive. Let's talk about 10 conversions as a pretty decent number in order to get a good sample set. Now, if you're a mobile app install campaign, chances are your conversion rate's around 25%. As a result, you're probably going to need 40 clicks in order to get 10 of those installs. Let's say you're an e-commerce campaign and you are optimizing towards purchases. Your conversion rate may be around 2%, and as a result, the number of clicks you're going to need to get 10 purchases is around 500. Now, if you're a lead gen campaign and you're trying to drive conversions from a financial or even a EDU lead gen capacity, you may have a conversion rate of 1%, which means you're going to need a thousand clicks in order to prove out the quality of that ad and get 10 of those conversions. Now, let's say your cost per click on average is about a dollar, which means that in order to get 10 conversions in your lead gen campaign, you may have to spend a thousand dollars to get those conversions. And in your e-commerce campaign, maybe 500 bucks per ad. And in your mobile app install campaign, it's not beyond the realm of possibility. You'll have to spend 40 bucks per ad in order to get data sufficiency. Now you're proving out ads. Multiply each one of these numbers by five, five ads per audience. And now you're looking at 5,000 bucks, 2,500 bucks, and $500 just to prove out if an audience is going to work for you. Now look. This is money well spent because you're testing, you're understanding if this is going to be a good audience or ad. At the end of the day, you got to spend money to make money. And we think that testing intelligently and getting a wider sample set is the best way to understand if an audience is good or if an ad is good. That's the buzzer. Time's up. If you want a question answered on a future episode of The Playbook, send us an email, theplaybook at nanigans.com. I'm Eric Manser. Thanks for watching. Oh, and shouts to my mom and dad. I still love broccoli.